Clint Jolly here, coming to you from Butcher Boy in Reno, Nevada. Today I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how to cook pretty much any piece of meat as long as you know where it comes from on the animal. Of course, there's exceptions, but stay tuned and check it out. All right, so here's the deal. Pretty much every four-legged animal, beef, lamb, pigs, everything, going to kind of be built sort of similarly, right? You got the front shoulder section, you got the middle section, you got the hind. From the shoulder section, basically the front three or so ribs and the shoulder, the neck, that front leg, that whole chunk right there. You get a lot of connective tissue in there. That is the key to know that you want to do a wet heat cooking method. Braising, stewing, those kind of uh, methods are going to break down that connective tissue and get you a nice tender cut. The beauty of it is there's also lots of marbling in that section, all that fat. That fat is flavored. As you cook in those ways, it's going to break down that fat, render it out, and add a ton of flavor to your final dish. So the chuck, the shoulder, the front end of these four-legged animals, with some exceptions, you really want to look at wet heat cooking methods. Okay, let's go to the middle section. So the middle section is, in general, from you know everything but those first three or so ribs back to the end, right to where the hip bone starts connecting down in the middle. Okay, that's gonna be rib eyes, rib steak, pork chops. They're gonna be pork loin chops, pork rib chops. It's gonna be a lamb rack, it's gonna be lamb loin, those kind of things. Those right there tend to have good marbling, great flavor, and super, super tender cuts, okay? You're gonna to wanna to go higher heat, slower cooking, go like you know medium rare, medium, however you prefer those kind of things out of those animals. Those middle meats tend to be a little bit more expensive just because of the quality, right? But also think about this, when you look at this pig, we're only talking a section, which is the skinniest part of it, right? Same is gonna go on a beef and a lamb. What, pound for pound, there's not as much as the front or the hind legs shoulder. That leaves us with this hind section. On a hog, we call it the ham. On a beef, it's called the round, etc. Lamb leg, all those. Those guys, they're gonna be a little bit tougher muscles, a little bit of connective tissue in there, not as much marbling. So that means for the most part on those, we wanna go with a low and slow dry heat cooking method. So think about that. If you're doing a lamb leg, you wanna roast it slow in the oven, right? If you're doing a top round roast, like a roast beef, roast it slow in the oven. If you're doing a ham, it's smoked nice and slow. Make it tender, build up that flavor. And generally, you wanna season those pretty well you want to marinate them, possibly cure them if it's hams, etc. So, quick tips on how to cook just about any cut of meat. You got to know where they come from. The front end, that chuck, that front shoulder, wet heat, slow cooking methods, braising, stewing, so on. Middle section, the middle meats out of beef. That's going to be your ribs, your chops, your racks, etc. Those are going to be high heat, great flavor. Eat a medium, medium rare so you don't get too tough. Your hind section, the leg, the round, etc. The ham. You want to go low and slow, dry heat cooking, roasting, grilling, low and slow, etc. Hopefully that helps you find some new fun cuts in the butcher shop. Please swing by the shop. Give us a call at 825-MEAT or visit us at butcherboyreno.com. Learn a little bit more and we're here to inspire you to try some new stuff. See you soon.